Hi everyone, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this video, I'll show you the procedure to stretch a dynamic block in AutoCAD through increment distances. So let's get started. To start with, we have to first create a block using single seater sofa. So I'll give block command. I'll give the block name as sofa. I'll choose this midpoint as the insertion point and I'll select the objects. Next, I'll double click and click on OK to go to Block Editor Interface. Here you can see the Block Authoring Palette. Click on Parameters tab and click on Linear Parameter. And I'll choose these two endpoints as the endpoints to define the distance parameter. Now select the parameter, right click and click on Grip Display and click on 1 because I need only a single grip here. Next, click on Actions and click on stretch action and select the parameter which is the distance parameter and specify parameter point to associate with action which is this particular point and select the first corner to define the stretch frame and the opposite corner and also select the objects to be stretched using a crossing window and give enter. Now click on the distance parameter and click on control 1 to get the properties palette and click on distance type as increment because I want to uh, stretch at increments and give the increment distance as 60 and the distance minimum is the existing distance which is 59.91 and you can give the distance maximum as 360 because that is the length of a 6 seater sofa and click on close block editor and save the changes to the block. Now when you click on this block you will get the stretch grip and you can stretch at an increment of 60 units till you reach on to the maximum increment distance of 360 units. So this is a procedure to create a dynamic block with incremental stretch action. Hope you like this tutorial. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to SabirCAD YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you so much for your time.